What's up guys, I'm back once again to show you some of the hot mods of the week and the first one I have for you is a retexture but not a weapon retexture like we've been covering in previous episodes, no this is a magazine retexture and of course the mod that I'm talking about is Phoenix Lab magazine retexture and this is going to come in six different files, clean, comic, ink, dirty, dirty and wrinkled, and finally, old, dirty and wrinkled. Now all of these files are from the astoundingly awesome page, so if you want to overhaul every single comic in the game, you're going to need to download every single mod. And since there are 12 different types of comic in the game, that makes for 12 different mods. If you want to make every comic in your game look absolutely insane. Now Fallout 4 is coming up to its 5th birthday, so I think it's pretty fair to say that this game is no longer in its prime. But with this next mod, we have one of the OG mod authors themselves continuing their line of cross weapons and outfits. And the next one that they have in store for us is of course cross vertibird flight suit. And you can craft this at any chem station under the X vertibird flight suit section. Also, none of the pieces have any perk requirements, just a handful of crafting materials. And as for upgrades, the gloves and the headset only really get a skin change, but the helmet, the jacket and the suit come with all the upgrades that you would come to expect in a modern outfit mod. Now speaking of skins, you of course get a Minuteman one, a Brotherhood of Steel one, an Institute one, but unfortunately there is no Railroad one, but you can just use the brown skin instead if you really feel that you need a Railroad skin. Now these are not all the skins that come with this mod, there is plenty of other ones, but these are just some of my personal favourites. Anyway, whilst we're on the subject of skins and textures, this mod as standard comes in 2K, but maybe you're running some kind of NASA supercomputer and want a 4K version instead. Well, feel free to check out this mod author's Patreon page where you can download a 4K version. And this week's weapon mod is the Taurus Judge, and you can acquire this weapon at any chem station under the utility section. Here you can craft the weapon with no perk requirements, just a handful of materials. And in terms of upgrades, you have the choice of 5 damage options, 9 receivers, and finally, 3 different types of ammo. Now this may not be the most customizable weapon in the world, but that doesn't stop it from being an absolute blast to use. Granted to use it, you do have to have a pretty high tier of accuracy, which I do not, or you need to be playing a VATS build, which this character is not. Either way, it's not going to stop me from trying to use this weapon, and having an absolute blast in the process. And with that, that's going to bring us on to the next mod. Now in the past few episodes we've reviewed quite a few weapon sound replacer mods but one theme that I've noticed is that the replacers have always been for modded weapons not really for vanilla weapons. Well until now because we have the mod Unsilenced Falcon 2 10mm sound effects replacer and this is what it's going to sound like. So if you're a fan of Perfect Dark and want to have some nostalgic memories then maybe this mod is worth a download. Now in your time playing Fallout 4 you're going to gather up a lot of junk, but what are you supposed to do with it? Just chuck it in a workshop and forget about it, I mean you could do that, or you can download this next mod, Junk to Components. Now all the way back in episode 4 I featured a mod fairly similar to this that would scrap all of your junk down to base components, and traditionally I would show footage as a sort of flashback, but that video is so old that I can't bear to even look at it. Anyway, getting back onto the point, that previous mod was a machine that would scrap your junk, whereas this is a lot more simple. As you can see, my inventory is full of junk. Now if I exit out of my inventory and press the jump button at any workbench, it will all get turned into its base components. Now there is actually two files for this mod, one will scrap everything in your inventory, and the other one will simply scrap the junk. It will ignore shipments, weightless items and copper, gold and silver bars, as I guess the mod author deems these items to be quite valuable and not worth breaking down. Now all the way back in episode 12 we reviewed the GF Amas, and ever since then there has been multiple different mods adding to the GF Amas. Most recently, back in episode 24, we reviewed a sound replacer mod.
And now we have yet another mod, but this time we have the GFMR skin pack. And what this mod is going to do is introduce three new skins into the game for your GFMR. And of course, these are Francia, Hex, and Jungle Water. Now, this mod comes in an optional two files 2K and 4K. And the second weapon mod for this week's episode is the AER-15 Modern Laser Assault Rifle. And you can acquire this weapon at any chem station under the AER-15 section. Here you'll be able to craft the master control and the weapon itself, assuming you meet the material and perk requirements. And in terms of upgrades, you have the choice of 7 emitters, 3 barrels, 2 grips, 10 sights, 2 top rail attachments including none, 6 stocks including none, 5 right side attachments including none, 2 firing modes, 4 lower rail attachments, 5 left side attachments including none, 9 wavelengths, 2 magazines, and finally 5 different skins. Now I tend not to see too many energy weapons up for download, so for one to be made to such a high quality is a really nice change of pace. And don't get me wrong, I do enjoy a good ballistic weapon mod, but energy weapon mods tend to be just rare enough that they're usually quite special. Anyway, I think that's going to wrap it up for this mod, and the video for that matter. I hope you all enjoyed the mods here today, and if you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I hope to see you all in the next video.